my top 10 for Division One women's soccer goes as follows. And I can honestly see Alabama being number one, but I'm going to keep them at number two for now. And number one is still UCLA, despite the loss. But it's pretty much a coin flip at this point on who's number one. Florida State's three for me. North Carolina, four. Notre Dame, five. Michigan State, six. Stanford, seven. Virginia, eight. Arkansas, nine. Duke, ten. Uh, some top 25 matchups include number four, Florida State versus number two, North Carolina. Number 17, Ohio State versus number 13, Northwestern. Number 20, Pitt versus number four, Florida State. Six, uh, number six, Michigan State versus number 14, Rutgers. Number 18, Tennessee versus number 22, South Carolina. Well, the new United Soccer Coaches poll came out, and it's UCLA 1, North Carolina 2, Alabama 3, Florida State 4, Notre Dame 5, Michigan State 6, Stanford 7, Virginia 8, Arkansas 9, Duke 10, St. Louis 11, TCU's 12, Northwestern 13, Rutgers 14, USC is Southern California 15, 16 is Georgetown, 17 is Ohio State, 18 is Tennessee, number 19 is BYU, Pitt is number 20, Portland is 21, South Carolina 21, according to them, tied at 21, but it's kind of like we don't need ties in polls. Can we just make a distinct number 21 and distinct number 22? Or any number, it doesn't matter. Penn State 24, California 25. Receiving vote teams are like Xavier, Harvard, UCF, Clemson, Oklahoma State, Brown, and Washington State. The first, Xavier has 14 votes. Harvard and UCF have 10. Clemson has five, Oklahoma State has three, Brown one, and Washington State with one. Now, RPI-wise, which it's because we're getting very close to the end of the year here in terms of regular season for some conferences because there's only three conference games left and some before the, the conference tournaments. And if you don't have a conference tournament, it's an extra two games. Like RPI was the top 10 is like Alabama, UCLA, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Florida State, Duke, Arkansas, Penn State, Virginia, Pitt. Now, I would consider kind of like on the 40 to 65, 40 to 65 range, which I know it might be so broad in terms of, in terms of a bubble, being a bubble team, but it is real. Washington State 40, Oregon, Wisconsin, VCU, Pe Pepperdine, Virginia Tech, Auburn, Vanderbilt, Buffalo, Washington, Lamar, Ole Miss, Arizona, Dayton, Miami, Florida, Texas State, Utah Valley, South Dakota State, Quinnipiac, South Alabama, Utah, Texas Tech. UConn, Northeastern, Drexel, UAB. That's just, just getting up to 65 there. Fairfield is number 66 even. Gonzaga 67. Creighton 68. Nebraska 69. Colorado is number 70. So, I got advice for all those teams. You got to win all the games that, you know, that should be wins, technically. And take care of business in a conference tournament, you're in. Or if you're in a conference tournament, of course. And you got to win your respective league if you're like a one big league. You got to find a way to do that. I mean, you have to win your individual conference. Because it's not a guarantee you're going to get in. I mean, let's just take, for example, Queen Piac or Dayton. Atlantic 10 and like an, uh, in a Mac. I mean, Mid American, I mean, M A A C Conference, the Summit League, you know, the Sun Belt. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem. I would say it is a problem for those teams, honestly. Of course, Baylor, Texas Tech plays Baylor this week on the road. I'm not going to say Baylor's going to win by any means because. 
They have their issues, but they definitely are a dangerous team. They can be dangerous. So you can't sleep on them. Like, you can't sleep on any opponent. Because, for all we know, like, for example, Oklahoma women's soccer last week. They lost at Kansas and Kansas State. That's not a good look for their NCAA tournament resume. Sure, it doesn't hurt them in the conference to, to a conference race. Not necessarily. It does, I mean, like in terms of like three through whatever, or being in a in, in Big Twelve tournament. It's not that. It's the NCAA tournament that's a problem. Yeah, Texas Tech only plays Baylor this week, but next week they're gonna play TCU on the road at that. So, they got their last home game this week. So, I just want to go over the RPI as well as my top 10 and the new United Soccer Coaches poll. And I know there's more than one poll. So, and I know one, the other, one of the other ones has Alabama number one. I think they're very, very close. Because I think if UCLA loses another game and Alabama wins... They're going to have to move them up to number one in the United Soccer Coaches Ball. Anyways, uh, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. It's going to be 42 subscribers or more by the end of this year. And the RPI does help the NCAA tournament bid, by the way. Especially when you're like a, where you're going to host first three rounds, depending if you win the first two. So that does affect that. As well as the first two rounds matchup, too.